Hi, thanks for joining us today. I'm Sidra and I'm the community manager at AngelSense. And today I have a special guest. Her name is Wendy and she is one of our school liaisons. Hi, I'm so happy to be here. Thanks so much for joining us. I asked Wendy to join us today because we get a lot of questions uh, relating to using AngelSense at school, how to use the device uh, special features at school, all sorts of things around the school use of AngelSense. And we have a dedicated team of school liaisons that we have that can help you with training, answering questions, pretty much any collaboration with your school. So what we've done is we've gathered all the top questions and we'll be addressing them today. If you have any other questions, you can feel free to leave a comment or contact us on live chat and we'll answer that for you. So Wendy, the first question is, that we get a lot is, how can AngelSense be used to proactively keep students safe? Well, the first thing that actually comes to mind when you say that is the real-time tracking, because I know a lot of times um, the parents are worried about the children leaving school. So they're able to see if the child does leave school, they would get alert. And also if there's a school guardian attached to the account as well, they would get the alert also. And if the um, child does go missing with inside the school, they could use the alert feature to pinpoint the location um, of the school. We have had, had several parents that have used that with the school in the case of an emergency to find the child that may be hiding in a closet or in a bathroom or somewhere that the staff wasn't able to locate. Another question that we get a lot is, how can angel tents be used for special needs students on field trips or work study programs, uh, community outings, things like that. Our device is a really good support for children from early childhood all the way up to um, transitioning to adulthood with um, job programs. So the parents can monitor the child while they're on the um, field trip and they can make sure that they're at where they should be. And you can share the live location with the staff that is also on the field trip. And if there is an elopement situation or any type of anxiety in the public um, outing, they can look at the location of the child and be able to find them if they do elope. Okay, thanks. So the next question is, how can AngelSense be used to help students that have special needs to establish independence and to meet their IEP goals? Oftentimes, um, students do have to have a one-on-one -on -one aid. Um, and with the Angel Sense, they can establish more independence. The school can help monitor the child if they are going from one building to another um, and make sure that they are at the location that they should be. We have had some clients that a child was um, kind of embarrassed a little bit of having an aid still. He was getting to the point in high school where he felt he didn't need aid. So the history teacher was able to monitor him going from one building to the next building. And then that teacher that he was going to was also able to monitor to make sure he was at the location he should be. And um, it did give him a little bit more independence and, you know, self pride. It's, it's really nice to be able to um, give our children the independence that they are desiring. So a lot of times it's very common to see children pick up the elopement behavior again when they're older. And that's the one thing with angel sense that it, it's keeping them safe just in case for sometimes like you think your child has aged out of that. And it's something that uh, you, you, know, you always have to, you have to be prepared for. Uh, so going back to the idea of transition and how, how they grow up, um, Another question that comes often is, my child is doing a, a work study program with a, maybe a job coach or, or an aide from school. Um, how can I give them access to AngelSense without them seeing us 24 seven? So people wanna know uh, what sort of privacy do they have in their personal lives once the kid is not at their program or at their school? Right, and we do have several options. Um, one, at school, we can set up a school guardian and they would only see the schedule within set hours. So they wouldn't see the child outside of school hours. Um, and then we also have a share live location and that's where you just share the location for a certain amount of time. Say it's Tuesday from eight to seven, um, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. they're gonna be at work or with a 
um, coach or with any type of aid. I do have a lot of clients that um, say their child has an older and at it wanting to do a job. And this is the only way that they're able to let their child have independence on say maybe a bus or you know any type of public transportation and know that they are safe and feel comfortable with giving them a little bit more independence to have a job or after school activities. Another question that comes up a lot is for older students, they might be concerned about other students noticing the device. How do you calm their anxiety about wearing an angel sense device? Because it really is important that they keep the device on them for safety purposes all day. Um, we do have some situations come up because some older students typically in the um, student population, they don't want people to know that they have the device. So we do have accessories that we can offer um, a belt that is hidden under the clothes and a tank top that it is also hidden under the clothes. And then we do have some parents that just come up with their own creations. Um, some clients that they may have the belt made into a Batman belt where it, the, the child feels more comfortable. That's what um, that's, he wants his Batman belt put on. Um, or we've had other clients that use it in a sports bra with their children where it's also hidden um, too. And pockets, it can be put in the pocket. And um, unless somebody is actually looking for the device, it's very well hidden. Some kids also um, call it their cell phone and um, take ownership of it. And that's their device. They know every morning it's to be put on. Um, it's their special thing to know that we're able to see them or if they need to call us, use the call request that they do feel comfortable knowing that they're able to get a hold of their parents if they need. To. Another question that comes up a lot is how do I introduce Angel Sense to my school? We do get that question a lot, and we do speak to a lot of people even before they do buy the device and um, give them some guidance on how to speak with the school and um, you know what to tell them. And we do have a school guide that we can send to the school as well. Um, and then we also have us, the school liaisons. Um, we are more than happy to speak with you and coach you on anything that you need to know before contacting the school. And also with your permission, we're also happy to speak with them as well and answer any questions or concerns they may have about the device itself. Okay, that leads us to the next question. If there is concern over the device when a school has questions, what can you do? What can a parent do? They can speak with us. They can speak with the school liaisons. We are happy to help. Um, we've worked successfully with a lot of schools across the country. Um, we do find occasions where that the schools are not up to date with the technology and that what we can offer with the special needs community. Um, and they do sometimes get concerned about the liability um, over the device um, and the technology. Um, we're happy to speak with the schools and answer any questions with it and any concerns. Um, we work between the parents and the schools and a lot of the times it's not, most of the time we do have very much success with getting the device in the school. The next question is, are the calling features on the device legal? Our device does meet federal laws and that is why it does not record. There is no recording feature and the device is far less abrasive than a cell phone. It doesn't make outgoing phone calls. It doesn't take pictures. It doesn't video. And it's not typically a distraction like most cell phones would be that other students would have. We're always looking for school feedback. Um, we are able to give them a deactivation voice agreement and they can edit it to their needs as well. And we do have um, a legal team that does look to make sure that everything is um, satisfactory between the school and the parent. A small percentage of our client base has opted to disable the voice features, um, and we are happy to help with that as well and make sure that the, um, the school and the parents are in agreement to it. The next question that comes up a lot is a lot of the users have told us that they originally got AngelSense because they wanted to monitor their child's bus ride. So what sort of things can be monitored during the bus ride and what should parents be monitoring during the bus ride? So during the bus ride, a, a big feature is the um, speed and the transit. So you can monitor that the bus is going the right direction, um, not passing your house and your child still being on the bus. A lot of times, you know, our children are nonverbal and not able to tell the bus driver, hey, you missed my stop if that is the case, um, or be able to tell us that, you know, the bus is maybe going a little bit faster than they should be going down 
a certain road. Um, also unknown stops. So we've had clients that their bus has actually um, been involved in a minor accident and was able to get to a bus before they were even notified from the school that it had been in a wreck to get to their children to help calm them down or um, help diffuse the situation if there was any type of emergency. And um, we have also have parents that love the ETA feature because they um, are notified that their child will be here in five minutes and don't have to stand out for the bus in the cold freezing weather with the winter for 50 minutes waiting on the bus to show up. What would you say is the key features for the bus ride for schools and why should they be interested in being able to access the notifications and the tracking uh, during the bus ride? So the schools would be a good that would be good to have it because they would know when the child is arriving to school. A lot of times the aides um, that do go out and get the children off the bus would know when the child is arriving or if the child arrived early and may have got off the bus and nobody was there to meet them, um, they would be able to track their location as well. Um, and also it's a good thing for them to know as well if the bus drivers are speeding or making unknown stops or not going into the direction that they should be going for their route. We also um, have had parents in schools um, be notified that the child was dropped off at the wrong location. Say they should have been dropped at a certain school and they maybe would have dropped at a different one or dropped off at a library when they should have been dropped off at home. So it is also good to know um, where the child's location that they were being dropped. Another question that comes up a lot is from parents that homeschool their children. Why would they need Angel Sense with their child that is homeschooled and what sort of Thing can they, what sort of features can they use and take advantage of with using AngelSense? I think it's very important to have it even at home. I mean, children don't just elope from schools. They, you know, there could be all kinds of triggers for them to elope from home, from this, the mall, from grocery store. Um, and of course, parents always need a break as well. So they can use it if the child goes to um, the grandparents' house, if they go to therapy, if they're with another caregiver, they can always use the share live location. Or even if the child just goes into the backyard and plays for 30 minutes during recess time at home school. Um, but there, it's always important to um, have the device for independence, for well being, and just even having a peace of mind with your child. Okay, great. So something that we see a lot with, uh, with talking to, to families and to schools um, is people want to know why would AngelSense be a, you know, a GPS tracker that they need as opposed to a different GPS tracker or you know, AngelSense isn't just a GPS tracker, it's so much more. So what are the unique features that make Angel Sense different from other trackers? A lot of other trackers don't show a live update um, of the child. So if the child is at school, it just tells you the child is at school. Um, it would give you, it would wake up and it would notify you if the child left school, but at that point it might be too late. And as we know, a special needs community, um, time is of the essence. Uh, and also um, the pay playback location. We've had some clients who their child may not be getting therapy or not going outside for recess when they should. And they've been able to use the playback location to know that my child didn't get recess for this day or they didn't go to therapy for this day. So it's really important to have that for just well-being as well. Um, the alarm feature for indoors, if the child does um, elope or hide somewhere, you're able to locate them. I've had a client that was able to locate their child at Walmart in the shopping rack or the clothing rack um, that was hiding from them. Um, the school dashboard, we're able to work with the schools and let them have access to it as well if the parent is willing to just to be able to see the child at schools at um, maybe even field trips or if they run track just in any type of situation. Um, the arrival and the departure alert is also really important. Um, we've had a family that the, the dad um, had was not able to go get the child and was not able to tell the mom and she knew that the child was still at school because it showed that he um, never left. It was a delayed alert sent to him. Something that AngelSense has that's a very unique feature is the location playback feature. And something that is, is very interesting is location playback gives you the ability to zoom in 
very clearly and very closely into the school activity during the day and in a specific in the geofence that you set. So if you could please just explain why, what sort of information do you get from the location playback feature and how would that be useful for parents and how would that be useful for schools? Um, I think it's very useful for parents and schools because they can see that the child is doing what they should be um, in location playback. Um, they should can see that the child is not just sitting next to the teacher or sitting on the ground for their whole 20 to 30 minutes outside. They can use the playback um, to show that they were playing and also can see what the steps um, step counting that the child is being active during the day and just not may be sitting there on an iPad all day or, or sitting next to a teacher and not wanting to go play. Um, it's very important for the school as well because they can see the same thing that the, um, the, the student is getting to therapy like they should or um, getting to go to the lunchroom with the other, uh, the other students to um, have fellowship. But I think it's very important for those features to be used by the school and the parents. Even when the child gets home at night, you can sit down with the, the child and look over their day and say, oh, I saw you went outside, buddy, today. How was it outside? And it promotes conversation that you may not have with the child that may have a limited 